welcome to the Storybook Show. My name's Ryan. I'll be your host this evening, or whenever this airs. Our first story tonight is called Bully Bill. All right, let's get started. Farmer Fred had just bought a new bull. He named him Bill. Bill was a strong and handsome bull with great horns. He was very big for his age. Farmer Fred got Bill the bull loaded into the trailer and headed back home to his farm. When they arrived, Farmer Fred said, Bill, welcome to your new home. Bill just snorted and tossed his head back to show off his impressive horns. This was all new to Bill as he was raised in a small stall and his new home was very different. He had a lot to explore. Bill stood on the hill and watched all the barnyard animals. He thought to himself, I'm the biggest animal on Farmer Fred's farm. No other animal has such great horns. Bill chuckled at all the chickens as he slowly walked up to them. They were so small and he didn't have any horns. Bill approached the chickens and they clucked. The lone duck ducked as Bill almost stepped on her. Bill lowered his head and quickly shook it from side to side right in front of the chickens. I'm Bill the Bull and I'm bigger than you chubby chickens, he said in a deep voice, and I'm the boss of the barnyard. Bill the Bull frightened the chickens. They rapidly ran, flipped, flopped, and flew to the safety of their cozy coop. This made Bill the Bull laugh loudly. He was having fun. Bill saw some plump pigs move in the mud and decided to play a prank. As he approached, he said loudly, I heard Farmer Fred say that he needed some bacon for breakfast and ham for dinner. He then laughed loudly and tossed his head around, showing off his great horns. This frightened many of the pigs, and they proceeded to their pen for protection. The biggest pig named Porkchop walked up to Bill and said, You are a very mean bull, Bill. Bill snorted a reply. Well, you do have a big, flat nose, a tornado tail, and pink ears. Also, you're dirty and smelly. Then Bill lowered his head, snorted a great snort, and shook his horns at Porkchop. Now, Porkchop was a wise old pig and knew what Bill was doing. He wouldn't be bullied by any bull, even Bill. Now, Bill, the bullying bull, was expecting Porkchop to mush through the mud and proceed back to the pen for protection, but Porkchop just stood there, looking at him. Then Porkchop said in a soft voice, You are a very mean bull, Bill. I walked away. Then Bill saw some sheep in the meadow. Bill began to walk across the big barnyard towards them. When he got there, he was met by Roger Ram, the leader of the flock. I'm Roger Ram, rejoicing at meeting my newest neighbor on Farmer Fred's farm, he said in a very pl polite manner. Bill ran at Roger Ram, snorting and shaking his big horns, and said, I'm Bill the Bull, and I'm the boss of the barnyard. In a split second, Roger Ram rammed Bill the Bullying Bull between his two horns. Bill the Bullying Bull looked at Roger Ram and said, All that white curly hair might give you lots of flair, but you ram like you. And then Bill backed up, started to paw at the ground with his hefty hooves snorted seven snorts, shook his horns, lowered his now lumpy head, and Roger Ram and the others retreated from the meadow. Bill the bullying bull was proud of what he had done. All the barnyard animals were afraid of Bill. He was either threatening them with his size and big horns or making fun of the way they looked. It was not a pleasant day on Farmer Fred's farm, that's for sure. I'm going to call him Bully Bill, said Henrietta Hen. That's not nice, said Roy Rooster. It's just being a bully yourself. Well, we will work on something to stop his bullying, replied Toby Turtle. Roger Ram said, I don't know what we can do. I rammed him, he called me an ew. Dorothy Duck said, he almost stepped on me with those heavy hooves. No one's safe. With tears in her eyes, little Patty Piglet said, I heard I was going to be eaten by Farmer Fred. I'm scared. Porkchop said in a soft and soothing tone, Don't worry, my friends. By the evening feed by Farmer Fred, 
Bill the Bullying Bull will become our buddy. Bill was having so much fun. He certainly was the boss at the barnyard. He looked around and saw a big barn with open doors, and he knew he had to let whoever lived there know that he was the boss of the barnyard. It was a bright sunny day, but as Bill walked into the dark barn, he couldn't see anything. This frightened him a little. He turned the corner around the door and BOOM! He was stopped in mid-stride. Bill recognized that he had just walked into something really big. So big, it didn't even move when he walked into it. As Bill's eyes adjusted to the darkness in the barn, he started to see what had stopped him. He was looking at the chest of some big animal. Bill was scared. As he looked up, he could see the biggest bull with the biggest horn staring down at him. A voice like thunder filled the barn. I finally get to meet Bill, the boss of the barnyard. Now, Bill didn't know what to do or say. All, all he could do was look up at this giant and wonder what would happen next. There was silence in the barn for several moments as Bill just looked up in amazement. Finally, the big bull said something. I am Brian Bull and have lived on Farmer Fred's farm for many, many years. In all those years, never have the other animals asked me for help. But today, they came to me with a story of a big bull that was bullying them and asked me to put an end to it. So I agreed. Bill was never, ever so frightened. Brian could toss him across the barnyard with little effort and one push from his head. Brian slowly lowered his head. Bill looked down and began to shake. Brian got closer and whispered into Bill's ear. What do you think I should do, Bill? I promised the other animals I would put a stop to your bullying. Please believe me, Brian. You, you, you have, Bill said in a truly honest voice. I have never been so frightened in my life, and I know how the other animals must have felt. Bill began to sob a little. I have learned my lesson, and I will go and out and apologize to all the animals and ask them to forgive me. You don't have to, Brian said. You already have. As Bill turned around, he saw all the other animals standing in the doorway. Then the animals heard Farmer Fred calling to them for the evening feed. Porkchop walked over to Bill and said, Hey there, buddy. Let's eat. The end. So, what did we learn? <laughs> um, my takeaway from this is that just because you can do something doesn't mean you should, right? Bill was this big bull, right? And he came onto this barn, this, this farmyard, right? And he was like, man, I can do whatever I want. I'm huge. Who's, who's going to stop me? Until he met Brian, who actually could stop him. But Brian had the right idea. Right? He was the one. who He's just chilling. He's by himself. He's just hanging out. Right? Nobody ever asks him for anything. But as soon as somebody does, what does he do? He helps them. He's bigger than Bill. So, what this tells me is that if you have the ability to help people, you should. If you are stronger or bigger than somebody else, that doesn't give you the right to bully them. In fact, not only should you not bully them, you should be actively looking for ways to help them. Thank you very much for tuning into this episode of The Storybook Show. Now, every book I'm reading on here comes from a website called Monkey Pen. Um, this is not an advertisement. They are not sponsoring this. But it's, it's a great we it seems like a great website that's full of um, a bunch of children's books for free. You can just download them and read them. Um, so if you are interested in these, or if you know someone that's interested in these, or parents, if you're out there and you're thinking, I want to get my kids some kids' books for free, this seems like a pretty cool website to do that with. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.